Okay, so I don't know if this lighting could be any worse. I'm sorry, but, you know, whatever. It's a thing. Um, <laughs> so, Life with M recently tagged me to do the three marker challenge, which I think would be interesting, so I'm gonna do it. Let's, let's see how this goes. I really don't have a good introduction. <laughs> So I got Prismacolor PM82 in Terracotta. This one doesn't have a brush tip. It might be a good reddish skin tone or something else. Um, I have Fibrolo Brush something. Cardinache 186 110. It's a really pretty purple. That's about all I can say about it. It's a really pretty purple. And then I have the Cuter Cutter. That's how I'm gonna pronounce it. Cuter Cutter. Um, fine and broad. So I have no brush tip. Dang it! 4 406 cadmium orange. So we have a pinkish red skin tone color kind of thing. Purple and bright neon orange. Let's see what we can do with those. Okay guys, so like I said, this is a three marker challenge. Um, I was tagged by Life with M, and I got the previously listed colors, which are, putting it simply, really pretty purple, reddish, pinkish orange skin tone, and bright neon orange. Um, so we'll see how those go. <laughs> um, right now, I'm just doing the sketch of the pose that I felt worked for this piece. It's not so much the colors itself, it's more just I was inspired to do a specific image in my head. Um, I'm sorry for the kind of blurry uh, camera quality. Um, the lighting in this one was a little weird because I don't have any lighting other than the window that I sit against. and. I started this like around 12 or whatever and finished around 3-ish. Um, so this, <laughs> the lighting was kind of wonky. Um, but the sketch didn't turn out real well during the bones phase, but it kind of grew on me over time, which was good. Um, the head was originally a little big, which I'll fix later. Um, so that's some stuff. I made those legs really big on accident. I mean, it's kind of a thing I need to work on is leg anatomy. I don't seem to be able to make any leg shape that isn't fabulously large hips. <laughs> Which is ironic, considering I have little to none. Um, I don't really have much to talk about. I'm really bad at these. Um, I know a lot of people... Well, not a lot of people, but I know some people um already have their sketches decide oh there goes my cat <laughs> i know some people already have their sketches um pre-done before they do the color choosing or whatever um i don't i like to kind of choose what i'm gonna draw after i get my colors um the last piece i did the one marker challenge um that one I didn't start until I had the color because once I got that color, I had a specific image in mind that I wanted to do. So I know some people have an issue with sketching once you know the colors, but I personally don't. Um, my camera wobbled just then, I think, was because my cat decided to, one of my cats, decided to jump up onto my shelf and have his way with my camera. Um, but I had to kick him off. <laughs> um, so after the final sketch that you guys saw, um, I actually did edit her shirt some. Um, I originally was just going to give her a Brando, if I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, which is basically just a strap of cloth that goes over the chest. Um, but after I took that picture, I decided to change it to a kind of a work shirt 
Um, and in the end, I feel like that was the better option. Um, lining in this, <laughs> the angle that I'm lining it and the size of that picture did not help me when I was lining. <laughs> I feel like I did a better job lining it than I did the last picture. So it's more of an issue of I'm not used to lining traditionally. Um, most of what I line is digital and you know, those are those can be huge canvases that you can zoom in on and rotate, blah, blah, blah. Whereas traditional lining is very difficult because I have to make sure you guys can see it and I have to make sure I'm not in the frame and I have to make sure that I still line it correctly, blah, blah, blah. Um, so it is a little more difficult. It's something I definitely need to work on and something I'm trying to work harder at with getting into YouTube more. Um, usually... Oh, my, uh, speaking of, <laughs> the little cut right there, uh, my phone decided that it had no memory while filming this, so there are a few chunks of film missing. There was my cat again. A few chunks of film missing because it has no memory, and no matter what I do, I cannot get it to get any more space on it. I literally have done everything on the internet and it does not help um i was saying something before and i don't remember what i was saying i tend to do that a lot where i just forget my sentences midway through and then get distracted because ooh shiny thing and then i forget what i was saying that's a issue of mine um i really need to get a black copic marker though because <laughs> my liner did not appreciate I have two liners. I have that thin kind of greenish tan one and I have this black one. And the black one is made specifically for Copics and it's more of a actual brush tip. It gets a lot of wide ranges. Um, but considering how small this piece was, I generally use the thinner liner. Um, but for the boots, I use a thick liner so I can get them done with quick. And my liner did not like that. <laughs> I need to get a black Copic marker. And yes, I pronounce it Copic. Somebody's going to get angry at me for pronouncing it Copic, but that's how I pronounce it. Um, right here, I just started doing, I finally started doing colors. Um, I knew I wanted her hair to be purple. If you hear rustling in the background, that's my cats <laughs> being bad children. Um, I knew I wanted her hair to be purple. That was just a thing that I definitely knew from the get-go of my colors that the hair was going to be purple. Um, I don't do my hair this way digitally in the white spaces. Um, digitally, I have very little highlights in the hair at all. It's all shading. Um, so having the markers where I have to create highlights so that the color doesn't get lost has been kind of fun. Oh, my cat's going wild. Um, right there, the uh, film cut off again because, again, my memory... Had, there was none. <laughs> um, the boots are, I actually colored them black because I knew that if I overdid some of the colors, it'd probably look weird. So I just took the easy way out, which is not a good way to grow, but darn it, I did it. Um, looking back at it now, I did not realize how brown that terracotta color was. Um, I did a piece with it before. But I also had an actual brown skin tone with it, so it made it look more red than it actually was. I kind of wish, looking back at it now, that I had used the terracotta color for her skin instead of her shirt. Or done her pants brown and her shirt orange. Um, but, you know, we make mistakes, I guess. Um, now I'm just doing shading before the finished product. So... Uh, I don't do much shading in my traditional pieces. It's not as easy to do with my style of shading. But yeah, so that's the finished piece. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye! Before I do my outro, because I'm an absolute moron and I forgot this last time, I tagged Silver Goddess 666 because darn it, I forgot to tag you last time and I'm doing it now. Yeah! So that was my attempt at the three marker challenge. Um, there are definitely some things that could have been fixed or done a different way, but overall I'm happy with the product. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm debating doing, like, tutorial videos, maybe, perhaps. 
Um, so if you have an interest in those, please let me know. They would be digital, although I could do traditional. Um, but please let me know down below if you're interested. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!